Hey guys, I hope the lighting doesn't bother you so much. Uh, I'm just sitting here beside our backyard. Let's see. Yeah. If you watched uh, Meet Baby Dylan video that I posted a couple of days ago, um, I said that we are going to take time this weekend and do some baby proofing around the house. And I just want to show you today what we did. Hi baby! Say hi! Hi baby! Dylan is here to help me show you how we have baby proofed everywhere. So. Come here. Come baby. Okay. If you remember last time I showed you that he tends to walk all the way down uh, the foyer and um, basically whatever is there. Okay. The first thing and the most important thing was to put this piece of railing um, here so that it separates kitchen from foyer. If the basement door is open, he doesn't go to the basement and uh, yeah. And this railing was already here in this baby playroom. Here we had a double French door that would uh, limit baby baby's access to living room. And we had lots of junk here. So we took off this uh, double door and made this room available for baby too. So he has plenty of room to crawl in. However, we had to close this area, this door. I mean, there is no door, but the entrance to this uh, room. And the railing, if we wanna, wanted to buy a railing, uh, I mean, the ones that we had were not wide enough. So we had to buy a wide one, but they were expensive. So our cheapest option was to just uh, screw a, uh, a board here, which you bought from Home Depot, and see what we did. Yeah, this is a screw. So that's what Ellie did to support this uh, board here. Yeah, of course we cannot open it up, but that's good enough for us. We can go from here anywhere we want. See? Okay. And outlets. Let me show you outlets. This is the outlet cover we bought. I'm just trying them. I haven't put them still everywhere. This is what we bought, and the vent, we covered it with paper. Uh, that's the air vent, that's not the air conditioner outlet. So, yeah, we didn't want a baby to stick his finger in it. Make sure there is no danger by doing that. Uh, what else? Uh, okay, let me show you what we are doing for cabinets. Still, we are trying. We bought these. that you have to do this oh my god I'm gonna break my nail again and it's really difficult ah I can't so we are gonna return those I mean they're good because you can use it like this like actually this for drawer but if you don't if you can do it and not without breaking your nail because I can't so these are not good because they'll break my nail. So we are going to buy a different uh, clip or hook or anything for uh, cabinet lock for cabinet doors and drawers. And when we are finally satisfied with one, we uh, put it everywhere. Yep. And what else is left? Um, okay, the floor. Baby falls a lot and bumps his head. We don't want him to bump his head, so we have two area rugs in the basement that we are gonna wash this weekend. We are gonna rent a carpet cleaner machine and wash them. And put it here, one here and one under the breakfast table, so that if he falls, it hurts less. He's crying! No, mommy! Hi! <laughs> okay. Come here. Come here. Let me hold you. See? There is another one here. Our gate. 
which closes the entrance to our family room. And the family room is sunken, the floor is sunken, you see? So what? we have to make sure he doesn't get there. In order to avoid him bumping his head on the legs of the table and chairs, we are going to wrap some bubble wrap around the legs just to make sure that if he bumps his head, he's not going to hurt that much. Yep, that's what we did for, for now for baby proofing the kitchen. And until he is older and he can reach to more stuff, for now this is safe. Like it makes a rather safe place than what it was before. So I can work here. I won't leave him without supervision, but when I work here, he is not left in the dining room and just crying for me and hanging to the rails and stuff like that.